This is AppChasers.com. Today I want to show you a sweet new app that's available for the iPhone and iPad. It's called Workflow Powerful Automation Made Simple. Now what is automation? Well it's the ability to let the computer, in this case the iPhone or iPad, process a number of steps for you with the tap of a single button. And that's exactly what Workflow does. It's so neat, but it's difficult to explain, so I just want to show you how it works. If you've already downloaded Workflow, just tap on the Open button here, and it'll open the app. This is the first screen you'll see when you open Workflow for the first time. At the top of the screen, there's the My Workflows tab, and next to it is a Gallery tab. And then all the way to the right is the Plus icon, where you can create your own workflow from scratch. But just to show you exactly what this does, let's go right into the gallery and we'll see a few different pre-made workflows that you can download uh, and start using right away. Let's create a fun one to begin with. This is the one in the upper left hand corner that's called Photos to GIF. It says make an animated GIF from your last five photos. So that's exactly what it's going to do. If we tap on that, it'll show us the processes that this uh, workflow is actually going to step through. It's going to look for our latest five photos in our camera roll. It's going to create this animated GIF and we can change the uh, length of the GIF here where it says seconds per photo and uh, then it's going to bring up a quick look so that we can see what it looks like. So let's say get workflow and it's going to download it and add it to our my workflows tab. Let's go into that right now and we can run it to see exactly what it's going to do by pressing the play button at the top of the screen. Alright, so it's gone through our camera roll, found our latest five photos, and now it's created this animated GIF. What if you want to send it to a friend? Well, you can tap on the share button in the upper right, and let's say we can message a friend, whoever we want, in our contact or our address book. But let's cancel out of that because I want to show you how we can actually edit this workflow so that we can add that process of automatically messaging it to a friend right within the workflow itself. And that's done by adding a step or an action to this workflow. On the left hand side of the screen you see the actions section and uh, we can scroll through those actions we can find uh, different things that we can add to this workflow. It's just a lot of fun to play with these and to see uh, what we can create here. But we know that we want to um, add this messaging action. So we'll just tap on the search at the top. We'll say message. Here we are, send message. Tap and hold on that and drag it right into our workflow. We can pre-populate a name here if we know that we're already going to send it to a friend or a group of friends but if we want to just be prompted as to who to send it to just leave it blank. So now that we have that last step added let's play it again and see what happens. We'll hit play gives us this quick look. We'll hit done here and now it automatically brings up a message that's ready to send to whoever we want. But you know what I want to uh, actually take out that quick look step here because I just want to send it immediately and uh, what I'll do is I'll just X out of that step and now it'll go straight into sending a message. We'll hit play and there's our animated GIF ready to send. We'll hit done here. Let's go back into the gallery and we'll find another fun workflow to download. This one is called Home ETA, or Estimated Time of Arrival. If we open it up here, it says it'll share with a message how long it's going to take us to get home. But this doesn't necessarily have to be your home. You can add in any address, and it'll tell you how long it's going to take to get there. So we've got our street address here. Right now it's set to Apple Headquarters in California, but we can change that. It'll go through and determine our travel time using the Maps app. It'll get our current location and then lastly it's going to create this message that we can send uh, to our spouse or a friend. So we'll say Get Workflow. Alright, and it puts it right into our My Workflows tab. Let's tap on it again and we can edit it 
by uh, changing the address. So let's go in here, we'll change the address. Now you can put your home address in here, but I'm going to put uh, just an arbitrary address. There we go. We'll say Troy, Michigan. And uh, we'll get rid of that postal code. And uh, that's all we need to do there. And we should be ready. So let's play this and see what happens. It's getting our travel time, getting our current location. It's going to go through and create this message, message here. And it says, uh, I'm at 416 South Kenwood Avenue. And I will be home in 14 minutes. So actually, that's how long it's going to take us to get to whatever address that we put in there. So that's pretty neat. Now, what if you wanted to automatically text that to a friend? Well, you can, of course, add in their name right here in the To field. But if you go right back into the workflow, you can, again, edit it by adding a contact here. We'll add a, just a random contact, our Starbucks store nearby. And now, when we run through this workflow, watch what happens. It'll automatically populate this message to send to that friend that we already selected. So that's a pretty neat way that Workflow can uh, simply create a text message for you showing your friends how long it's going to take you to reach them. Now, another neat feature of Workflows is that you can take any one of these workflows that you download or create and add it to your home screen. So this would be a nice one to use uh, in that way. Uh, just a, a button to press right on your iPad or iPhone home screen that will automatically run this workflow and send this text message off. So to do that, uh, right here in this uh, main workflow editing screen, to the right of the play button you see this gear icon. We'll tap on that and now it gives us a few different options here. One of them is add to home screen. So we'll tap on that. That's going to open up Safari. It's going to give us this nice instruction to show us how to add this to our home screen. But simply all you need to do is hit the share button here in the upper right hand corner of Safari and then tap add to home screen. It's going to ask us what we'd like to name it, but it's already got a name, so we'll just hit Add. And now we have this workflow right on the home screen of our device. So anytime we want to share how long it's going to take to get somewhere, we can just tap on that. It'll open up Workflow, automatically run the workflow, and then create this nice text message that we can send. So there we go. Now I want to show you how to create a workflow from scratch. We already showed you a little bit about adding actions. We'll just type, tap on create workflow there. And uh, again, we've got all of our actions here in the left hand side of the screen along with our building template over here on the right hand side. So I want to show you how to create a workflow that'll look at a contact in your address book that you specify and automatically show you a Google Street View image of that person's home based on the address that's in their contact. So let's do that. Let's go here in the upper left or upper left hand side under search accent and we'll type in contact. There we go. So we got contact there. We will hold and drag here. And it'll say, press to add a contact. Um, I just want to say, ask when run. So I simply tapped in there where it says, press to add contact. And we'll hit ask when run. So anytime this workflow runs, it'll ask us who we want to select. Now, in the action search, we'll type in Google. And you can see we've got an action called get street view image. First of all, what we need to do is install the Google Maps app on our device. So we'll do that. We'll download it. If you already have it installed on your device, that's fine. It'll go ahead and just, uh, it won't prompt you to install it. It'll just be ready to go. But let's download it right here. And this is going to allow us to use that Street View image option here in our actions. 
So it's downloaded Google Maps. We'll just hit cancel there now because it's already. And we'll tap and hold on get street view image. We'll bring it right over into our action step. And let's hit play and see what happens. So it's again, it's going to prompt us to add us, ask us to add a contact. We'll choose that same one that we were looking at before, the Starbucks. We'll hit done. Now watch what happens. It automatically brings up this nice street view image of the address that we chose. And this could be anyone in your contact book too. So let's add another step to that. We'll hit um, copy it to our clipboard. So we'll add that. And then we'll also add that same. Well, this time we were going to do, um, you know, add a, uh, a text message. But this time we'll show you how to do an email. So we'll search here. We'll say email. And we'll now say send email. Drag that over here. And now let's hit play and see what happens. So we'll pick that same one. Starbucks. Hit done. There we go. Now it's automatically created an email for us to send with that Street View picture of the Starbucks automatically um, copied to our clipboard and then pasted right here in this email ready to go. So we'll delete out of there. So that's an overview of how to use workflows on your iPhone or your iPad. It's super impressive app that will automate just a ton of things. You could just spend hours playing with the app, uh, just having fun with it, creating uh, some automated workflows right before your eyes. Now, there is a nice gallery here that we showed you, but if you look around the web, you'll also find some other galleries that people have created with their own personal favorite workflows that you can download. I've put a link to my favorite gallery under this video so you can take a look at that. But that's workflows. We want to show you here on AppChasers.com. Have a great day.